Uh, we have had advisors in Iraq through our embassy, and we're prepared to send a small number of additional American military advisors, up to 300, to assess how we can best train, advise, and support Iraqi security forces going forward. We will be prepared to take targeted and precise military action if and when we determine that the situation on the ground requires it. If we do, I will consult closely with Congress and leaders in Iraq and in the region. It's not our job to choose Iraq's leaders. Part of what our patriots fought for uh, during many years in Iraq was the right and the opportunity for Iraqis to determine uh, their own destiny and choose their own leaders. I think we always have to guard against mission creep. Uh, so let me repeat uh, what I've said in the past. Uh, uh, American combat troops are not going to be fighting in Iraq again. Ultimately, this is something that is going to have to be solved by the Iraqis. Uh, it is in our national security interests not to see uh, an all-out civil war inside of Iraq. Do you wish you had left a residual force in Iraq? Any regrets about that decision in 2011? Well, keep in mind, uh, that wasn't a decision made by me. That was a decision made by the Iraqi government. Uh, we offered a modest residual force to help continue to train uh, and advise uh, Iraqi security forces. Uh, we had uh, a core requirement, which we require in any uh, situation where we have U.S. troops overseas, and that is, is that they are provided immunity. Uh, the Iraqi government uh, and Prime Minister Maliki uh, declined to provide us uh, that immunity. Uh, and so uh, uh, I think it is important, though, to recognize that despite that decision, uh, that we have continued to provide them with very intensive uh, advice and support and have continued throughout this process over the last five years uh, to not only uh, offer them our assistance uh, militarily, uh, but we've also continued to urge uh, uh, the kinds of political compromises that uh, uh, we think are ultimately necessary in order for them to have a functioning multi-sectarian uh, democracy uh, inside the country.